certified, certified real. Hey, I'm a little excited. You heard it here first. Certified real. Airborne. You are now listening to Real Talk Podcast. This is certified. What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Real Talk Trailers. Today we got a nice little treat. Um, we're going to be doing fatherhood. Uh, we got, you know, the original cast with us. We got Gerard, independent filmmaker out of St. P, and we got our boy Gills, um, and then myself, X. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're going to do, we're going to watch the trailer, and then we're going to come back and hit y'all with some with the information. <laughs> Nigga snuffed the shit out there, Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so, you know, we just went ahead and watched the trailer. Gerard, what's good? What's your initial thoughts? It's good seeing Kevin Hart trying to challenge himself, taking on stuff where it's disabled, where the rock's not carrying him. It's his, <laughs> you look at all the stuff that Kevin Hart does, it's like, like I was saying before, it's not like a, a night school or, or, or uh, a ride along. He's got the rock carrying him through these more serious roles. So, and then this one is the second one he's done since he did um, the one with Brian Cranston. So it's good to see him trying to elevate his, his skill in that, uh, aspect, uh, his skill set. About you, Gills, what's up? Yeah, I think uh, I think this is going to be a good role for him because it's like he's not stretching himself so far on the dramatic side. Like there's still a lot of comedic elements. There's a lot of funny. It started off with you know a funny thing him walking into the the the, the new mothers meeting. You know, trying trying to get in. You know, that's I think there's a lot of comedic elements there, and you can't really you can't really go wrong when you have to play like your co-stars, like like a little girl, like a little child. You know what I mean? There's a lot to, to do, I think stuff to play off on there. Um, but yeah, I don't think um I, yeah, I don't I don't think uh I don't think it's a bad role for him. So. Yeah, I, I agree. Um before I watched the trailer, I thought it was more more serious um tone to it. I didn't think there was gonna be as much um comedy in it, but watching the trailer, you see that there is comedy. So I do agree that he's not like spreading himself too thin with the dramatic role. So he's kind of like slowly getting himself into it, doing more and more as the movies come along. Um, I do agree that they did. They also did give him like a good supporting cast. Um, you know, so like he's not completely by himself and has, like he has talent, you know, and that has been around for years that he can, you know, vibe off of kind of like that, like um, Will Smith and um, Philip Banks type vibe. Yeah. Like, mm. like, like, yo, let me let me coach you up a little bit. This is how, you know, so I do think that's that's a good idea, because like you said, The Rock carried him in some films, but those other films like that last film, um, he had a, a, a seasoned veteran actor that, you know, he could learn from. So I think a few years down the road, Kevin Hart is going to be a lot better um, at these type of films. Yeah, when he did when he did the upside, he had uh, Brian Cranston and he co mm. him. And like those two actors, they're no joke. They they got right. that drama stuff yeah. down a lot. Right. I want to see him try to like get out screwed and try to throw a funny joke and the co Kim would probably slap the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> right. So and and I'm looking forward after seeing this trailer. Before seeing this trailer, I wasn't, but after seeing this trailer, I am looking forward to see Kevin Hart carry a dramatic role. Like this, this he is, can do that. It's hard to like. Like keep doing the same thing over and over again. Like when you've been, you've already, he's he's gone as far as like, you know, as high as you can get as far as in the comedy world. And and he's probably he's probably still going to stay hover around in that area. Mm -hmm. It's just just a matter of there's a point where you get so big that you become bigger than you know the the project you're trying to do. So this right. is like a kind of like a a good shift yeah. that I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, Leveling so up. Yeah. yeah. Um. Another thing I wanted to touch on uh, is the representation. Right, so, um, you know, black fathers, single fathers, they, they are representing that um, in this film. And then, you know, you got girl dads represent that, representing that, you know, just changing that image of, you know, fathers is not a, is not around. And then he has, you know, in the, in the trailer they show, he has people that's in his, like women, you know, other women and, and men that's in his life that's like, yo, um, you need to be around family. He's like, nah, I could do it. You know what I'm saying? Let me do it. I could do it type thing. So I like that aspect of the film. And I thought that was a, 
I think that's a dope message that that they have going so far that we've seen in the trailer. What's your opinion on that? On seeing that? Definitely, I'm definitely trying to be a little tearjerker. You know, what I mean, mm-hmm. there's probably gonna be some moments in there where you look at, you know, and and him him being a like a, a father, you know, uh, you know, multiple kids, you know, he I think this is something where he probably looked at the script and resonated with it. Mm-hmm. And you know, thought you know, yeah, I can. This is something I can do. But yeah, I, I think a lot of in like a lot of in society, you look at we look at fathers as you know, kind of like secondary, completely, you know, to, to the mother role or or any female role in a kid's in a kid's life. And so, this is something that's not really highlighted in films a lot. Um, you know, just a single father trying to make it, whatever. I mean, we've seen comedic movies that try to make you know, I try to make like Mr. Mom, you know, that kind of thing, right. but. But this is going to be more something where, you know, it looks more at society, not just for black fathers, but fathers overall, single fathers, right. single dads overall, and girl dads, just like you said. Right, right. I, I agree. Like, I think, I think growing up, me being uh, from Brazil and watching like how they like portray like Latino fathers and, and black fathers, like you're always absentee. You're never there for your kid. They, mm-hmm. uh, and it's, it's kind of cool seeing not with just this movie, but with movies in general, like they're saying, hey, color doesn't matter. Like a father is a father. He's there if he loves his kids. And you see Kevin Hart put it in the work. Like the little girl's hair came out like crap, but at least he was putting it in the work, trying to get her to the best he could to, to take care of her, you know? Mm-hmm. And and it's cool seeing stuff like that change. Right. Fact. That's what I'm saying. I'm all about changing the narrative. So I'm, I can always support a film, especially when they're, you know, making moves to change the narrative. You know, to or to at least at least you show that you know most of us are like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the image is something completely different, but the majority is this. This is what the majority is. So, I can always stand behind that. You know, anybody that's kind of pushing that pushing that message. So, what do y'all think about the story as a whole? Just based off what we see from the trailer, what do y'all think about the story? Do y'all think it's <laughs> strong enough to carry you for an hour and a half, two hours, whatever the case may be? I'm sure they got good source material. They said it's inspired by a true story, which you know in Hollywood, that can mean anything. But right. but I, I, but uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think they is strong enough just just off of the trailer, just going off of what they saw. You can see how he's building like a support team, you know, to help him with mm-hmm. you know the, the child, and and you know you you can kind of see like how you know the character you see in the beginning of the trailer. And the, the mother support group is now be one of his people that help support him or the, the guys, you know, gathering around, singing around the mm-hmm. daughter. You know, I think go watching her like uh, like the daughter from even in the trailer, you see her grow up. Literally, you feel like you kind of see her grow up a little bit. I think watching that overall is going to make the film seem longer and over a certain period of stress. So I think it's going to think it's going to work out great because anything can happen in that time period when you're dealing with a five, six, seven, eight year old. Mm-hmm. little girl and trying to raise it by yourself so yeah what about you Jero? Good idea. I, so i have i have this rare theory with this with this movie because they talk about the mother dying we don't know why mm. i have i have this weird feeling that the mother died from some disease that the daughter also has oh shit so you just trying to be dark he's just trying to be dark he's trying to take us down damn and that's why, and that's why you hear him talking about like, like, like uh, I'm gonna do the best I can for her. Like he said something like that in the trailer, and to me that kind of leads into like he's gonna try to give her the best life possible for as long as she's living. Like I don't know why. No, but, that's just a, that's just a filmmaker in you. <laughs> about yeah. to donate a that's kidney that at the end of the movie. Yeah, that, that's okay, just a filmmaker right. in you, man. They're gonna be all right. <laughs> just for the record, I have the only thing I've ever seen for this movie is the trailer. So if that happens, I don't know. But it's just <laughs> it's just the writer in me. I'm like, I'm gonna if, do something like this. If that happens, we're coming back on here and talking about yeah, this. You got you gotta to. Got, got to explain yourself. This is <laughs> that's to. crazy. That's crazy. But um no, I agree. I think the story, I think the story is gonna be good. Um also dating like in as far as as a single dad mm-hmm. with a little girl you kind of see that a little bit in the trailer yeah. that's mm-hmm. going to be interesting little subplot in there yeah. as well so, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of like why i think the story is gonna um it's gonna be it's gonna be able to sit well with people because it's relatable and then there's so many points that you can touch on that is not going to get old right so like like doing a film with him just struggling to like nurse the baby 
what I'm saying? Though those young years, that eventually can get old watching that. But if you got these other aspects getting thrown at you, like what's his his mentality like? What's his mental like? Um, his dating life, uh, his family, you know, his family saying, yo, we think you should move back to Minnesota. So they're telling us that he's over in this state, they're in this state, so he don't have that necessary support that he needs. Um, he got his friends that probably know just as much or less than him about the aspect of it, you know, so it shows that aspect of things. Um, so I think the story is going to be dope, mainly because it's relatable. Like, I could sit there and relate to some of the things that he's going, staying up all night rocking, you know, the baby to sleep, I can relate to that. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's why the story is going to be able to hold. Um, and then there's other things too, like we've seen other films like this, like um, Daddy Daycare, that's similar to this, like dads taking the forefront and doing things that we normally don't see on screen, dads doing. Um, what's the one with Adam Sandler too? Um, oh, Big Daddy? Yeah, Big Daddy yeah, kind of has that feel Big too. Like he's, a classic. Uh, he's like not this fit for all the figure, but by the end of the movie, he's like this perfect parent figure. You know what I'm saying? So we've seen films like this in the past. Um, we just don't see it all the time. So I think it's dope that we're finally kind of like diving into that a little bit more. And I hope we see more, you know, films like it. I think he's going to kill it. I got any questions, any concerns, anything else you don't want to point out about the film? Um, I feel like we should do one more. One more question? At least one more. I'll talk about something about it. Or if not, that's it. Which I think. This is why I wanted to do fucking candy. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Got one. So, what do, what do y'all like from straight from the trailer? Just from the trailer, what do y'all think of um, Maddie Lagin? I think her name is Lagin. I can't say. I apologize for. Uh, no, no, Melanie Heard. Let's let's rewind that. So, just from the trailer, what do y'all think of um, Melanie Heard's uh, uh, her acting, the little girl? Um, cause you know, uh, child actors, I think I have, I feel like there's more child actors that I could think of that was like, yo, that's a pretty good actor. And I don't know if it's like, because it's a child, I see the child on screen. I just give it a little bit more slack or maybe because they're young, they could just throw themselves and be free with it or whatever. But what do y'all think of, of her acting, um, from what we saw in the trailer? I'm actually looking her up right now to see what other stuff she's done. Um, I think, I mean, I think she did pretty good for a kid, you know, I don't really work with kids that much, and you can't really see the full, because you see the grandparents oh. and Kevin Hart going through the dramatic stuff, and her, she's basically there, and she says one or two lines, I want to see how she's going to do in the, in the film overall, because she, I mean, it seems like it's going to be a very serious role for her to take on, I hope she does really well, because, right. you know, in 20 years, I might be watching, I hope I've been watching more movies with her on it. Right. The reason, excuse me, the reason why I ask is because she was the daughter in that TV show, Dumb, on Amazon. Oh, okay. So that's that's kind of why I ask, because she, you know, this is kind of a mm-hmm. switch, you know, from what she did as in uh, that horror, um, 1950s, the little daughter or whatever. And she, and in my opinion, she bodied that role. Like, she was one of the better um, actors of the film. Um, so, and then now we're going to see her in a little bit more lighthearted role a little bit more funny, her being a little bit more of a child um, in this film. So that's kind of like why I wanted to point that out. I mean, in the trailer, uh, it looked good. I mean, honestly, when you get to that point, when you see any child actor and you see these big names like Kevin Hart and you see uh, uh, Lil Ray and uh, you see all these all these people that you saw inside this film, like the grandma and the grandpa, like these are legit actors. They're not going to put some kid on there that's going to give them a hard time on set. This kid probably knows what they're doing, like more than despite their age. So I'm sure she's going to kill it. Um, and she looks like she killed it from the trailer as well. So it's funny. You got me thinking of um, that one movie that just came out in February, January with uh, Justin Silver, like Palmer. Like mm. they had all these supporting people to help the little boy in that movie. Like the little boy outperformed all of the actors in the movie. Like, <laughs> he outperformed Justin Timberlake. He outperformed the grandma. I was like, damn, somebody get this little boy an Oscar because I'm like, <laughs> damn, he's got some skills. What is it called Palmer? I need Palmer. To see it's, it's it's on Amazon. It's a good movie. Mm. I think I think I I think I scroll by that. And I think I think I think I know what you're talking about. Definitely definitely like, worth watching. Okay. All right. So you know that's the let's 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 go ahead and um. And radio real quick. I mean, 
it come it's coming out on Netflix. It's being released on Netflix. Um, so it's kind of like we just I I me personally I would still watch it. Um, but I'm also the type to watch almost anything. So even if I didn't want to see it, since it's coming out on Netflix, I probably would still watch it. But I definitely do recommend just based off the trailer that we should definitely support that. Go ahead and watch that. Which I think. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, I'll definitely watch. I mean, I've been I've been a Kevin Hart fan for for a long time, and then I just re- I went through his book last year, like seeing what this man's gone through and seeing what my career has been like. It's kind of like it's a big inspiration. So definitely, definitely gonna watch and support it, um, especially because of the old. It's also because of who plays the grandparents. They're just they're just talented actors. Always good stuff with them. So yeah. What you bills? Yeah, I mean. I, I like family movies and especially I like w- watching family movies around the family. So like, why not? So, um, I mean, it's Ken, Kevin Hart is a, is a big enough name where even if, you know, you know, this person is not you know big into movies like that, but they recognize who Kevin Hart is. So they're like, okay, I'll watch it with you. And you know, that's kind of thing. That's kind of thing that bring everybody around the couch, kind of old school, kind of like that mm-hmm. one night on a Sunday night on Netflix, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of my kind of vibe right now. So. I do, and I do love the fact that Netflix is finding ways to stay relevant when everybody else has got a streaming service out now. So I, I, I can appreciate that on their on their end. They got to kill that. They got to kill the, the whole. Everybody got their own streaming service. Enough, enough. But anyway, that's another time. That's for another. Definitely time. another topic, another show. <laughs> but I wanted to appreciate both of y'all for coming and joining for this um, dope, dope conversation. Um, appreciate the viewers watching. Of course, new viewers, um, check us out on YouTube. Of course. Um, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. That's the show. Certified, certified, real. Hey, I'm a little excited. You heard it here first. Certified, real. Everybody. You are now listening to Real Talk Podcast. This is certified.